Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest Cognizant Gen C interview experience that happened today only. Guys, this is the third interview experience for today's Gen C profile interview. This is for the triple E branch students. And guys, the previous two videos were one one was for IT branch and second one was for EC branch. So guys, kindly do not miss any of these questions that I am discussing in these videos because these are really important for you to understand that what type of questions are getting asked in the interviews, guys. Uh, the previous two videos that I have uploaded today has already been <laughs> uploaded on my on this playlist that is Cognizant Gen C interview experience 2021 and 2022. The link of this playlist I will give in the i button or in the description box. Kindly make sure to visit this playlist. In this particular playlist, total 17 Gen C interview experiences have been posted, and today's two videos have also been posted on the in this playlist only. So kindly visit this playlist. And guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe it as well as join my Telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates. On different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button okay so guys the date of the interview was 8th november 2021 that is today only the branch of my friend is triple e the duration of the entire interview was 25 minutes so the first question as you all know will be introduce yourself so kindly guys kindly make sure that you include only those skills in which you are conf confident in you can also include different type of things like project uh, projects, inter internships, your extracurricular activities or your hobbies, all these things you can include in this particular answer, but do not lie anything about yourself. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is what are your strengths and weaknesses? Yes, guys, in this particular interview, these type of questions have been asked in the beginning only that what are your strengths and weaknesses? So guys, this is also very important as well as very common interview question that can be asked in an interview. So kindly make sure to give at least two strengths and two weaknesses of yours with the real life example that how you know that this particular thing is your strength and how you know that this particular thing is your weakness. So kindly give an example with all these things. Okay. Next was why are you choosing IT industry? So guys, again, this is an uh, this is an interview experience interview experience of a non CS. IT background student so as these type of questions will be definitely asked from you that why you are not going for your core branch instead of that you are going for the IT industry so guys kindly make sure to prepare <coughs> this answer very well you can tell to the interviewer that while in the four years of your engineering you have learned you have explored different technologies and you have built interest in them so you decided to change your field to it so this will be a convincing answer for the interviewer and also show them the project that you have made on the technologies or on the it related technologies so i hope this question is clear to you and you will definitely uh, you will definitely answer like this then it will be not, it will not be any problem for you okay so now moving to the next question that is explain your projects so guys for this i have made a dedicated video on my channel in which i have discussed in detail that how you will have to explain your project to the interviewer in that i have explained step by step guide that what all things you have will have to include in your while you are explaining your project to the interviewer and guys one more thing in that video only i have discussed the most commonly asked uh, project related interview questions so the link is in the i button or in the description box kindly go there and visit that playlist i will give the link in the i button okay next is explain oops <coughs> Oops concepts with real time examples. Again, guys, out of 10 interviews in nine <laughs> interviews, this question will be definitely asked from you. We all know that there are four Oops concepts. First is abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and one more is inheritance. Again, I have made a dedicated video on my channel in which I have described that how you will have to explain all these concepts to the interviewer with the real life example, step by step. So again, the link will be present in the description box or in the i button. Kindly go that, go that, visit that link and watch the video. Okay, next question was what are packages in Java? So a, a Java package is a group of similar type of classes, interfaces and sub packages. So inside a package in Java, there are present, there are classes present, interfaces present, as well as sub packages are also present. Now package in Java can be categorized into two forms. One is built in package that are already present. And second one is user demand package that we make while we are writing the code. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is what are static variables? So guys, we all know that uh, static variables are those variables to which the memory is allocated only once per class, not per object, but the memory is allocated once per class. So that particular variable once declared as static in a class will be shared by all the objects of that particular class. So I hope this point is clear to you that the memory is allocated only once for that particular variable, which is defined as static inside a class. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज वट इज डी बी एम एस सो वी ऑल नो डी बी एम एस स्टैंड फॉर डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड इट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइन टू स्टोर रिट्रीव डिफाइन एंड मैनेज डेटा इन अ डेटा बेस सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू बिकॉज वी हैव लॉट ऑफ डेटा एंड हाउ वी कैन एक्यूमुलेट दैट डेटा वी यूज अ सॉफ्टवेयर नोन एज डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दैट इज यूज टू इंसर्ट द डेटा रिट्रीव द डेटा मैन्यूपलेट द डेटा ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी कैन डू यूजिंग अ डी बी एम एस ओके नेक्स्ट इज वट इज द यूज ऑफ हैविंग क्लॉज so as having clause in sql is used is used to filter the records in combination with the group by clause so having clause is always having clause is always used with the help with after the group by clause group by clause is used to club the data in a certain way and having clause filters that grouped data so i hope this difference or you can say this use of having clause is clear to you okay Okay, so the next question was, what is the <laughs> difference between order by and group by statement? So, as first of all, the group by statement is used to group the rows, whereas the order by statement is used to arrange the rows in ascending or descending order. So, they are totally different, and it may be allowed in create view statement. The group by statement can be used with the view statement, whereas order by statement is not allowed in the create view statement. So, I hope this difference is also clear to you. So guys, whenever a difference is asked to you in an interview, kindly make sure to give at least two points before for these two entities that is given to you. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next, but there were certain core branch questions also, like what is the difference between AC current and DC current? Another one is uh, why we why we give <laughs> DC current to the mobiles. So again, these are the core branch uh, core branch questions that you must know. And even if you are belonging to IT or CSC. you must know your core branch uh, core branch questions and mechanical or mechanical students civil engineer students they should also know certain subjects or you can say certain questions for your core branches so i hope this these type of questions are also clear to you and guys one more thing that i, I have told you in earlier videos also that in gen c profile specifically there are lot of aptitude questions that are asked in the interview so again in this interview also two aptitude questions were asked first aptitude question was <laughs> this first aptitude question was this that we have to find odd one out and next aptitude question was the upstream and downstream question that is the speed of the boat is given the speed of the stream is given now you have to find that what is the time to travel to a particular distance so again these aptitude questions you can solve on your own you can simply take the screenshot or screenshot out of it and these were all the questions which are asked from this candidate and the interview process was little long that is it, that it consisted of 25 minutes so guys i hope these videos are helping you for pre preparing for your interviews kindly hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for this video and kindly show some support towards the channel thank you for watching it